Hello, my name is Bill Brown. I have been a resident of Reading since 1932, a homeowner taxpayer since 1955, and presently I am the longest serving town meeting member in the history of the town of Reading at 50 years and still going. I'd like to take a few moments to explain a few things that you will not hear from those that are in favor of the four point one five million dollar override that the voters will be asked to approve or disapprove April 3rd. The ballot is what is known as an earmark question. That means town meeting, if the override passes, must approve the funds as the voters stated this year. However, next year they can appropriate them for any legal purpose for which town meeting can appropriate funds. Thus, if you voted to fund Sunday li library hours next year, that may is not required to do so. Town meeting is not required. And if you if there is a loaded town meeting, if you will, they can divert those funds again for any legal purpose whatsoever. I think you should be aware that the town is still carrying 17 million debt exclusion for the library and the two school projects that does not go away until 2025. Just as you look forward to a law tax bill as a result of that, don't bet on it. Looming in the future is the Killam reservation, renovation that must comply with the ADA laws. The building committee is in preliminary review and no cost has been determined. It could go anywhere from a simple $5 million to who knows what if they decide to build a completely new building. Again, debt exclusion. Also in the future, the town manager has mentioned a possibility of a new senior center. Uh, if there's any seniors still left in running can afford to do it. Another exclusion item. Although presently shown within the tax levy, a new DPW garage combined with the town of Wakefield at Camp Curtis Gill is estimated at $28 million. If it is within the operating budget, that's $850,000 for the next 25 years that we will not have for the operating budget. If it is an exclusion, that will also add to your thing. There is a $10 million debt exclusion proposed for building securities. Uh, as you are well aware of all the shootings and everything else within schools, they want to bring them up to standards. Both of the high school turf fields have to be replaced. Again, perhaps an exclusion at approximately $1 million each. The average home in Reading, if the oil and bride passes, will see $488 on top of the normal two and a half inch, two and a half increase. For me, that means an approximately $200 plus this year on top of the normal $236. My tax bill has gone up in the last two years over $400. This with no increase in my Social Security. My water, sewer, and electric rates, as yours, continue to grow each year. This year's Social Security, I got a wonderful two cents per day, and that's why I'm here putting my two cents in opposing the override. While it will not affect the operating budget, the town has assets it can sell. Currently, uh, there's land on Oakland Road that's been off the tax rolls since 1937 that could uh, support 10 house lots. Given the cost of land in Reading, at a minimum of $200,000 two, $200, 200, a piece, you're looking at $10 million the town could have. I hope you feel as that as I do, spending must stop and we'll go to the polls on April 3rd and vote no, and as last year, be among the silent majority. If you agree or disagree, please feel free to call me at 
1-800-273-0707. Again, short and sweet. Thank you. I look forward to you voting no on April 3rd. But please vote. Thank you.